Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today I will be going over uh, Samba and how to set up a Samba server and a share on our Samba server um, using Fedora Linux. So let's go ahead and start. First thing we want to do is make sure that the Samba packages are installed. In this case, um, go ahead and access your add and remove software on Fedora and uh, make sure that your server Samba server is installed another utility that I want you to install is the actual um, configuration tool that we will use to uh, configure our our Samba server so let's go ahead and find that and here we go Samba server configuration tool once you have installed that um, we can go ahead and start so let me close this window the first thing we're going to do is uh, head over to our system and our administration and configure our firewall to allow access to our Samba server. So as you can see here, we got our firewall and we will check the Samba um, right here to allow us to um, open these ports up on our firewall. Um, once you have done that, go ahead and uh, close this out. Next thing we're going to do is open our terminal window and configure uh, take one step further when it comes to our security as you know uh, Fedora has security enhanced Linux or SE Linux in short and we're going to configure that to allow access to our Samba shares so the command I want you to enter is set se bowl which is set security has Linux um, boolean so we'll space it uppercase P and we will type samba underscore home underscore DIRS directories space on um, once you have been entered that will allow us to access um, shares on our home directory um, if you're setting up this as the uh, domain controller um, you will have to enter um, this command which is samba domain underscore controller and hit on and that will allow us to um, secure enhance Linux to allow our Samba server to be the domain controller. Once you have done that, we'll go ahead and start. And we'll keep this on the side for now. So let's go to System, Administration, and let's go to Samba. And this is the reason we installed that uh, configuration tool. It allows us to access our uh, graphical interface to configure for Samba. So what we're going to do here is go to our preferences and we're going to go to our server settings and what I have done here is select a work group as our work group because it's going to be a peer-to-peer -peer work group environment so our work group Work group computers, Windows work group computers can uh, access our share. And we'll go to circuiting and make sure you set authentication mode to share. Of course, yes and no for a guest account because we will be setting up a user account. So 
so once that's done let's go back to Samba users and make sure you add a user that's a user account on your server in my case I already set one up but you may uh, choose to set up a user that you have that's already uh, an account that is on the server and once you have added it will ask you to uh, choose a user Windows username and a Samba password in order for you to uh, access a share on the Samba server so when that's, once that's done go ahead and close that out as you can see I've already added my user and again I can't stress that enough it has to be a user um, account that is on the server so you can authenticate from your Windows machine and now we're going to add our directory so what I'm going to do here is browse to my directory that I have selected and I'll select my share and you can add a description to your SOM configuration file all the changes that we are making is going towards our uh, smb.conf um, configuration file in our Samba. So I'm going to click writable and visible, and under access, I will choose only allow access to specific users. In this case, it will be Fedora, and hit OK. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, restart our Samba service. So we'll enter this command service SMB restart. There you go. As you can see, it, it has started our SOMP server. Once again, for the changes to take effect, another thing you can check is uh, go ahead and check your configuration file on, in your SMB.conf. Enter this command to. Uh, be able to check that. Hit enter. And as you can see here, we set up our share. And this is a path to our directory and our share. And you can see um, here are the valid users, which is Fedora, who only has access to that share, and read only, which is no, because I chose to have read and write access to the to that file. So once you've done that, go ahead and exit, and that should be it. Um, in our next video, we will be talking about accessing that share on our Windows client. I hope you've enjoyed uh, setting up the Samba server on Fedora Linux, and I will see you on our second part of the video where we will access our share using our Windows client machine. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you until next time. Thank you.